everybody, Terry Cruz here. Welcome back to another NBA Rival Week on 2K Sports. This next matchup, as we're about to be seeing, this is what the next one comes in. We've got Portland Trail Blazers, and they are facing against OKC and against the Thunders. This is what the team is. It is usually known as Seattle Supersonics. The two Pacific Northwest cities are 180 miles apart and connected by the Interstate 5. It's a 1 through 5 rivalry by this team. The next one that was the part of the first meeting was October 23rd, 1970. And it was happened to be Supersonics meeting against the Trail Blazers. And the latest meeting was March 24, 2008. After that, a Supersonic make your number win. But everything is starting to fall this apart, so they moved to another, another city as the rival has ended in 2008 when the Sonics were relocated in Oklahoma City and became the Funders. Now here's the history of what happened here. As you may already notice before, the meeting between the Blazers and the Funders was occurred right this moment. But back in the past, it was happened to be the Blazers and the Sonics. So on September 30th, 1970, in a preseason exhibition, game held with the WF West High School Gymnasium in Seattle's Washington, midway between Portland and Seattle. The teams were immediately projected to be rivals, owing to the close proximity of the resisting rivalry between the Pacific Northwest cities. The Trailblazers were a new expansion team for 1970, while the Supersonics began playing their three seasons earlier in 1967. But as we're always noticing, the one of the best players, Kevin Durant, and Odin as both teams beat long odds for the emerge of the winning of 2007 NBA track lottery. And that was Portland, with 5.3% chance receiving the number one selection, and Seattle, a 9.7% chance, won the second bid. This was happened to be one of them, Red Odin, the number one pick, since Seattle followed selecting Kevin Durant at the number two spot. This was not their day, but everyone has been noticing as they can definitely do this. The Blazers rivalry did not continue with the newly relocated Oklahoma City Thunder, despite their organization past history in Seattle and both teams continuing to play in the Western Conference of the Northwest Division. Both cities gained Major League Soccer. Well, that's because what happens, it was which dates back in the 1970s and this was a civic rivalry. But that was all, it does turn out. So not their great day here, but the Blazers eliminated the Thunders in the first round in the 2019 NBA playoffs on a game five. 37 for Buzz Beater, three by Damian Lillard. And Lillard was waved goodbye to the Thunder after the shot. And now the comment would say this, what can I say? That was for Seattle. <laughs> Not a choice optional. But as for ultimately, it has to go with the Client Pledge Arena renovated to in Seattle with the Kraken. Well, let's see what this game goes. With this meeting from the playoffs of this game, we're about to see now. Here to story and lineups for the five. McCollum Brockton, and Bernie Simons, Jabari Walker, Jeremy Grant, and DeAndre A.A. On the other side, for the OKC Funders, Shade the Logics Alexander, Josh Giddy, Lugin Stewart, Jalen Williams, and Chet Holmgren. These are your point guarding positions in a key matchup of Brogdon and Gilgorgix Alexander. Let's send you down to Paycom Center. Standing by is Son of Beast, and he's along with the other commentators as well, with along the cross the way, Ultra Beast and Gangstead Beast. I'll see you all later for the post game show. And coming up will be the halftime report by Irving Johnson, Kenny, and Shaq. Let the game begin. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Rival Week. Hey everyone, welcome to the NBA Rival Week on Two K Sports. We're here at the Paycom Center. The Portland Trailblazers and the Subfunders have both met here since 2019 of the NBA playoffs. I'm Senate Beast, and I'm here along with my broadcasting Bay partner and also David Aldridge will be here on the sideline. As for the start in between, we've got a great matchup between Brogdon and Gilgorgic Alexander. 
these are the only twos that will be playing with us right here on the line of scrimmage. You know, an easier way. I really love to see what this is going to happen right now. That both teams are going to be unstoppable to take a force live on and forever once. You know, an easier way to do this is like a uh, no way payback. This is what everybody does. You're going to get this one over and we're ready to see who can win. We start now with the funders as they win the tip off here. All field and ready to go. Here's your Gordon Alexander, covered by Brockton. And it's Stork, he's also covered up here as well. Then it's Williams along with Giddy. And in the center right now, we have it all coming down here. This is Holmgren. You know, Holmgren is one of the better players in this offense. It's not their day to have to be here at every single cross of this week. But this offense has gotten a lot of the pretty tough pavilions that they are trying to keep this thing going. Not enough, they're number overwhelming, but they are really are tackling it up. First three-pointer, Ken at the mark for Brogdon. You know an easier way to do this because if Brogdon has to play with their correct response, they've got to do it clean. Here's Gagoyus Alexander. He passes to Williams. The bounce pass to Giddy. Giddy. Up around the shot. It's good. Giddy with the wrapping around and up and overhanging as he has his first bucket of the night. You know an easier can't help you fool because Josh Giddy can take all of his response. Simons back to Walker and Aiden on home grid. And the mark, foul's called, and this one goes to Dort. That will be his first foul for the OKC Thunders. The wraparound, this one's going to put in for Walker to get up with a two point shot. You know what? You can't just make that tough, easier look. You know, this layup drive is like very impossible. I don't think nobody has ever seen it like this guy does. First free throw coming up for Portland Trail Blazers as they will step in for the first trip to the free throw line and Jabari Walker at the line for two. 5.45 left to go in the first period on a start range for 2.01. We're looking to see if there is a tie chance. First free throw sent in for Jabari Walker. You know the definition of this one. You know Jabari Walker never seems to be improving by like anybody else does. They really are just trying to show them their response. Rookies versus professionals, it's no way to do this handling of this offense. But this is a lot of encouragement that they are trying to do this on their own. Not for anybody who wants it. And a second free throw comes in for Jabari Walker. Here's OKC, and he finds Williams. Williams give it back to Giddy. Giddy on a race inbound to lay up the arc and tail! Jam down for That's his second bucket and the first throwdown comes in for the Thunders. Oh, you know the easier way to do this? I can't even tell you enough. That trust Giddy, what do you know? Three for some Simons. Simons missed the free pointer. No way on the offense defection. They are just trying to kick that one up to a lead off. But this is not easy enough to go with. Three for Tor. On a range inbound, good takeoff for Lewis Dort with a three pointer off the extension by five. Simon Sprong, and here he goes, and a shot. Good team by Holmgren. I don't know if you got a deflection out there. Maybe you might have just loosed that ball. It may have been tipped anyway. Uh, I don't know if it is, but uh, can't let him get away with that. Give Gordon Alexander for two. That's good for the outside. As right now he gets his first bucket of the night. Can't leave him hanging. And you know Good Gordon Alexander does it all. First time out call by the Portland Trail Blazers with only 428 to go in the first period. You're gonna do this on your own or come back to get to the playoff start. You're gonna do it on your own. And now let's talk about this as we're nearing down to the end of the season. We're getting pretty close to the end of the month here before the play-in tournaments and race towards the playoffs. Who do you think will win and head into the NBA Finals, guys? You know what? I have no overconfidence in the feeling I don't really care who, who wins. And no, come on, man. I want you to know who won, who's going to get to the Finals. Mm. Okay, well, you know what? I'm probably thinking that there might be one change to another. I'm going to just try to see who they are. I have no confidence in the feelings right now. Like, hmm, this is definitely what I was not even going for. 
you know what? For a Western Conference, I'm gonna say the OKC Funders. They're gonna like get into the finals and they're gonna like show them off. And for the Eastern Conference, I'm thinking that Heat's gonna do it again. Mm, you think so that the Miami Heat's gonna come back in right now? Well, you'll see. You never know what's gonna come out like that. How about you, gangster? You know what? I'm gonna have to go with the Celtics this time. And the other side, I'm going with the other team of Minnesota. I think this is gonna be the best, uh, best showdown ever as they've seen it in the regular season. I'm thinking we're very, very off to see them again soon. We love having that one since overtime. He finds Simons with the finish. On a slam down. Oh man, that pretty Simons got it. Well, that two head jam, you gotta silence the crowd. Make that feel good. You gotta power it down. And that was your best replay of the moment of a Bernie Simons was in it by AT&T, the 5G Slam Cam. That really has to be showing it off like that. When a Bernie Simons wants to hush the crowd, they can't let him lose their feelings. Williams, back again to Shankar and Alexander to finish the arc. That one's good for good boys Alexander. He has his second bucket of the night. Up to extension by seven. Here's Brogdon, tries to do it again. Nice D by Holmgren. That finishing would have been almost been badly enough to put a defensive breakdown. Not even tough to be honored when you can never lose your man offense and do it again. Coming up on January 23rd with a win against Portland, they've really been dominating their season and they are best ones to maintain. How do you think this will happen to be OKC better than the Portland Trail Blazers without the Supersonics? Now, I'm not even quite even honest about that. You know my thing? Because they really are all to a big start. They've really done their best to keep this thing going. i never seen how much they were doing this. But this is not their time. If they wanted to be out here, and they got to beat against Portland so badly, they need to do this one again. That's a lot of hard work that they got to maintain. And I am not even serious about that. They really have to beat over Portland. They're over the dominant. Can't lose it all. The fade off shot for Giddy. That misses off the target. And the ball's loose. I give it back my home grant. Here's Williams. Three to nine. That one goes on Grant. Oh, uh, the Grant make the driving block shot. Nobody can't just under attack Dave Brusher. Holmgren on Simons with the shot. Good team by Holmgren. Coming with a loss against the Denver Nuggets, he only had 26, he had 18 and 9 assists in the game for and Bernie Simons. Talk about them. They really are keeping in pressure and they have got to keep on going. Yeah, it's not very easy enough for Bernie Simons. I'm thinking there's a better option to do that. What a finished layup try for Dork. He has five in his bucket. You go to career, you got to do your field. Timeout called by Portland Trailblazers with two minutes remaining in the first period. And this one's going to be coming in to do for another take for the OKC Thunders. So as we are all seeing it before, keep your eyes peeled here for the next game. And this one will be the next rival week of this matchup. Since we're coming into a new season, we've got Lakers. And this one will be another showdown to face against the other team of the Clippers. It's the best LA showdown, right in between of the alley at Crypto.com Arena. That'll be the next game to be coming underway, right from the head. You know what happens, because everybody's favorite is Kawhi Leonard McGraw, and the other player guy, you know his name, LeBron James, they're both there in and out comfortable. They are both overrated in the LA teams. They've been dominating on this. They've got to go with a lot of the pursuit and keep on coming. And to say this, they are building a new stadium here by the SoFi Stadium, and this will be the Intuit Dome, hosting the NBA All-Star in 2026 in LA after Golden State of the All-Star 2025. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, they're gonna be absolutely like a blast in LA in the California state. They ain't made up of those, but I think it's their California love, baby. Everybody's gonna have fun, they're gonna bring up to the night.
New substitutions are on the court for the Portland Trail Blazers and for the Thunders. The startup puts up for the Portland Trail Blazers. Here's Wallace. He will have it over to Shady Gordix Alexander. Now back to Wallace. Now he gives to Williams. Williams now slows it down. Now gives again to Kitty. Coming up with the loss against the Utah Jazz. Their offensive was putting up with the free throws for 67%, but only nine were happening to be with the Thunders on the rebounds. They're not really always the same, but the population is turning to be useless. Because the Utah Jazz have been really been dominating it, they've been pushing their pace. Not a great way to do this, but don't get them uncomfortable if you know how to do it. Well, I have a lot of feeling about that. I think the Utah Jazz may be a harder to take their pace. Looks like they are stepping in to the play-in tournaments. We're about to see what's going to happen next. Williams pass again to Gregorius Alexander. Great feed off by Williams. And this one goes to Gregorius Alexander with six points. That's a great help. A great communication in to start things off right underway. Screen on Grant. The step in the mark. And a two-pointer counts in. Another two-pointer comes in for the Portland Trail Blazers with under a minute remaining. Now Giddy gives to Williams. Up again to Giddy. Here's Williams, try to step and bound. Giddy again to Wallace, to shoot the mark. From elbows, good! Wallace with his first bucket, and Giddy with the assist. They are going bees everywhere. They're just gonna be have to be like, throw buckets down, can't fool you. A two, coming in, it's good. Another defensive breakdown for the uh, OKC Thunders. We need to fix, fix this offense to do it right. This offense is not going to keep on coming. They need to do something else about it. The Gorgix finds Wallace. Let the clock wind down with 10 seconds. Williams. Screen. Rejected out. Wallace. Try to up the arc. And good! Wallace with second bucket. 21 attempts to score. That's the end of the first quarter. You really are dominating it up. Keep the lights in, and you know what the rumble takes for OKC. Second quarter is coming up after the break. You're watching the NBA Rival Week on 2K Sports. And if you're just tuning in, we've got the Thunders and the Portland ready for the second period. This one really has to be all for everybody who really wants to keep on coming things down to start things off with the first and second quarter. How does it really turn out if the OKC Thunders wants to get in here, guys? Well, the Northwest Division is putting an, an impressive start. You know, their offense has been really like dominating their, their work offensively. They just really can't let, leave them alone because they really are are pushing their way through a cross. Portland Trail Blazers have a little difficult time to do this, but not their day. They don't want to be here out in the first place. And I don't know if they will. Maybe they don't have anybody to go with. This might kick right now to get to Joe. Joe trying to step on back to Ivan Bernie Simons. Free for Dort. And miss off the target. Aiden with another rebound. And Henderson will have it. Watch it carefully, and this one, nice redeemed by Williams to reject the alley pass. There's no way they can't get it up about that. That's what they have to do now. Bumgren, wow. That slam dunk down, he's got to put up the field. And Bernie Simon has been the art, and Holmgren takes that rejection and look, and says, look at this. Oh, I don't know if this one's going to count like that. Wow. That is like a home run to reject that shot. Yeah, buddy, he need to know that room. Free for Dork, tries again. Two-time miss for the three-pointer for Dork. He's not gonna get enough to do three-pointers, he's gotta like try to keep it out. Simons, on Joe. Looks again to Henderson, up at the two. And that shot, no good. Portland Trail Blazers still having a difficult time, and they are trailing by 13. Here's another one from Mimic. Again to Dor. Dor with the shot. 
That two-pointer gets missed off of here, and this one goes back again to Henderson. You know what Dort can't do? He can't let him get away with that. And this one comes to be a biggest loose in the chain. They can't let him get away with this. After a throwdown by Matisse Feibel, here's Bannon. Over again to Holmgren. To shoot over Grant. Fine! And not enough to take Holmgren with the bucket. This one will be the first personal foul called on Jeremy Grant by Aiden. And now Holmgren will be taking his free throw right at the start for their first trip to the free throw line for the OKC Thunders with 4.51 to go. Holmgren hits the first free throw. We have a new change drop between for the Portland Trail Blazers. As right now, the two players come in for Fiebel and Henderson as Walker and Brockton are checked in. And he hits the second free throw. Holmgren receiving four points of his game. And now he's Brogdon. He will have to use his timeout with only under five minutes remaining. You're going to show him off. They're really going to be on a high on the energy run. In just a few more minutes, we will have the halftime show as this one will be coming in for Kenny DeJet Smith, Irving Johnson, and Shag O'Neal for the 2K Sports Halftime Show. That will be underway soon, right after this game is finished for the first half. Let me tell you why. This is what happened back in 2019. This wasn't their day to be like this. But OKC Funders definitely got shot down right over by the Portland Trail Blazers. Do you think this will ever happen again? I don't think it will never happen again, but maybe in a couple of the following years, maybe they might be just going to be changing it up. Hopefully we'll get to see them back there very soon. But I'm thinking I'm really happy to see now as the Funders coming in back in the playoffs. Since we've never seen them back in 2020, it was a day like this. But I can't even tell you, this is what nobody has ever seen like that. Yeah, just talk about that. If you want to do for good, you got to bring the Kill Thunder Loud moment to go with the flow. And a new substitution will be, will be over to check in replacement as we have a new static report for the OKC Thunders. Your points off for toss is for the last 10 games was 19.4. You're up on the mountain. They have to do something else about it. They got to keep on pressuring the attackers. There is no way that they can obviously do their ultimate setup range. They need to do something else about it to try to make them go up with the flow. There's no way that they can just try to like keep up the points at off instead. But they need to do some a lot of backup calls. Here's Joe. Give to Williams. Good team by Aiden. Aiden has got seven rebounds in this game. And Brogdon, he comes up to a full pressure. He finds Aiden. Tries to pull a mark. And Aiden loses it. Back step. Good. DeAndre Aiden will be in the first bucket of the night. And this one will be back down to another score. They need to keep on doing this. They just got to get out of here. Portland Trail by 11. We have a report for David Aldrich, and this one will be all for everybody. It's for Shane Gorgeous Alexander. He's been one of the biggest stars here after playing with each of the teams. Without of Russell Westbrook and for Paul George, he is ready to take this all courtesy to bring their team into the playoff spot. They've been really dominating this, and they are looking to go with another win to come back in for the postseason. I'm thinking they're ready to do this one. If they, are, if they finish their all-star game, then they're ready to do this one for their next major careers. Right between the players at the next level for the OKC Thunders. Bounce back to Willie and Joe. Oh, oh, the piece of it puts up for Bernie Simons. He had that one with the block. I don't know if you could definitely call that. I think Bernie Simons may have got that ball before the block shot was made. I don't know if it is, but hey, don't miss your players if you have a cover hard, comfortable feeling. Joe. Back again to Dort. Back again to Williams. Williams, bounce pass, lost the ball, and it's Aiden with the ball steal. Brogdon, 
Here's Clemens, layup good. And this one will put him for another assist here for another Portland, Portland Trailblazer run. Timeout call by OKC Thunder. So they will have their first timeout with only under three minutes to go. The rumble is always here. I don't know if you can always say about this, but don't let them be uncomfortable if you know how to get that one here right. Well, not the great day to be here. But I might be having a look on their shoulder. Maybe somebody else can try to go with the bucket scores over their height limit. Why is it? Well, no question. The NBA on Arrival Week on 2K Sports is brought to you by... Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. Starry Lines. And by AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything with fast, reliable, and secure. New changes coming in for the Trailblazers and for the Funders as we have a career status to go for Jeremy Gray. Now you should go to Alexander. Your team is trailing by eight. Looking to get their way to Jeremy to Jalen Williams. Back to Good Works Alexander. Trying to finish the arc. And Kilkorchuk's Alexander, no problem here. He has his fourth bucket of the night. Back up by 10. They are cutting down the digits already. You gotta keep on playing there, Kilgorik's Alexander. Three for Simons. And that one misses off the mark. Kilgorik's Alexander's got his second rebound of the night. We're just coming down to a two minute mark. Screen for Williams. Give off to Williams and oh, he slammed it down with one hand. The pass by to Prince Alexander. Oh yes, you got to make the crunch underneath it to rumble down with the throw. And this one, nice D by Dort as Williams with a rebound. They need to do some a lot of key moments. They just need to do some a lot of blockage. Williams back again to convert to Alexander. A bounce pass to Wiggins. Wiggins, back to Key. Go on a shot clock. The fade off shot. That rolls in and out. We are under 90 seconds remaining, and now here's Simons. Giddy against Guy Fernie Simons. Watching the cut inbound. Fades a shot, finds Brogdon. Down to five on a shot clock. Fade off look, Brogdon no good. Oh, he didn't really think he was be ready out there to do a layup in there, but not a courtesy to try to keep on coming. Now back to door. We're under one minute remaining, and this one goes to be another huge dip off, looking for another pointer for Funders or the Trailblazers. Door up, good, and door finally has this bucket in. A long, quiet miss opportunity, but he finally has seven. Keep on coming if you want to do this one again for a shot. Tree misses off again. And a shot range foul by Giddy. Another one comes in for the OKC Funders. And Brogdon to the free throw line shooting two. Not really when you are doing it yet. But if you're playing on the defense, you have a problem with that. You don't mess it up when you try to keep on coming with this offense. This needs to do with a lot of heavy motion if you're trying to keep up their way in. Not a choice option. Brockton at the free throw line, shooting two with only 34 seconds in. First free throw set in for Brockton. A new changeup coming in for the Trailblazers. Fiebel and Henderson are checked in for Brock, for Franz Simons and Walker. The Funders are also making new changes. Jordan Williams are checked out, as Wallace and Pianja Williams are checked in. Brogdon hits the next second free throw. Just about 30 seconds left to remain in the first half of the period. Williams 
Get back again to give words on tender. Wallace in the quarter. A lot of great dish offs in between the funders, and you're gorgeous. Count the bucket of wine. My goodness, you're gorgeous. Alexander, he wants his full attacker to have this extension. Well, the give all pass moment. Pick up look, and then there it is. To Gordis Alexander, give it up, girl. Best behavior. And uh, now everyone coming in for the OKC fight is at the free throw line shooting one. We'll be showing you Gordis Alexander. Talk about that one here. He may be looking for his appearance to step back into the playoff spot since many years has been living up with his life. But now he's ready to join in with the team. Oh, yes. I'm ready to see what this is going to be. It's really my honor. I will be happy enough to see them. Spin blue of Anderson. Good spin, but the shot was missed off too. Giddy. Finding again Wallace. Five seconds on the game clock. And Wallace will have to take a break from here. Wiggins and her team, 36 to 21. We'll take a quick break, and when we come back, well, second half starts now. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back. The first half mercifully coming to a close. I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny's here. Shaq is here. Oklahoma City has the edge here at halftime. They lead by 15. Kenny, what was your impression? Well, it comes down to confidence. From the open attempt, these guys had that swag. They had the attitude that you can't beat us, we can only beat ourselves. Jack, how do you think Portland played? They're getting abused in the penalty of this. They're going to match up this good. You're toast. That's what the scoreboard is referring to right now. Toast with butter. And that will about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it out. Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my man, man, Joel. Joel, what up? You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we're back in. Welcome to you to another part of the Rival Week as we're ready to get things kicked off on the second half. Shane Gagoris Alexander, the ultimate best player in this highlight, has to be one of the superstar strength of 11 points, 2 rebounds, and a 2 6. Can you feel that Shane Gagoris Alexander might be kicking up in for the postseason? I don't know if it is, but it may be a hard thing to tell for. You have to give a credit off to hit their deck. Not their way best in there. I love to know about Shady Gordis Alexander. He might be looking for himself, and he wants to go with his high career record. Here he comes. Oh, nice stop by Aang, and the foul would have been called on Portland Trail Blazers. Well, the referees got into a silence. I don't think there isn't a call to that. The two-pointer misses again for Walker, and now Dor, trying to handle it over to Williams, he finds Holmgren, off with the shot, good, pass Bob, and this one, Holmgren with the third bucket, Williams with the assist, 38-21 to score, keep on coming right now, because if you give a dish off pass, you just got to have a great moment to give that one opportunity to have that strength come in, two quarter misses off the mark for Brogdon, He's not having a good day right now. He's he's getting a little bit uh, hard one to take. Not easy one to do this for now. Well, here he comes. Good works. Alexander makes the layup. And he has his 13 points in this game, looking for his high career record to beat over by the other player by Embiid or anybody. Well, there might be one thing. You've got to keep on shooting it, buddy. Rocking for three. Misses. Of the shot. Oh, nice tip out by right? Holmgren. Shut down on Aiden. Can't say now. Whenever you do, you got to make him pay for it. Free makes it in. No gorgeous Alexander. Oh, he's been lifting his new height. He's ready to do his another major step in for the All-Star game and just come back for next year to get right to it. You know, the power goal on this playoff I don't know if they will do, but I'm thinking it's going to be a great day for Shady and Gordon Alexander to set their teams up into the postseason. I'm ready to see what they can do now. The NBA on Rival Week on 2K Sports is brought to you by 
State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. American Express. Don't live life without it. And by Sour Patch Kids. Now we're talking about here, and this is what OKC funders have been really been dominating this group. Let's have a take a look a bit closer look at the uh, higher range comparison between of the standings in the Western Conference. What is your guys to take here of how well they have done for the OKC funders there, folks? Well, the ultimate range of this one, it might be an odd way to try to keep on coming out, but they're not really important to do all of this best on this technique. You know this offense, it's not going to be easy enough if they're going to try to keep on coming. For Shaggy Gorish Alexander, he has only had made a steal of this game with 2.2 on his high career record. Might be looking for another steal, and he's on top of the mountain by other players. You know the key of this offense is not really like anybody else's game, but they really like keeping it out of their way, but this is not how they wanted to do. They've really been down, keeping it pressured out. They need to do something else to try to make it quick and easy. Bounce pass to home break. Shoots over Aiden. Good D by Aiden. That puts him another rebound. That's number 10. On a shot. Bernie Simons. Oh, Walker. Rebound and slam. And now one puts it back in to put another pink battle defenseman. We have a report for David Aldrich, and this one will be in Bernie Simons on the other side. He has definitely made his debut, and he wants to do his ultimate strength and wants to keep on coming in. It's not how well you do, but you have to show him who's the boss to take on. I know everybody does now, Brands, Jimmy Simon, and Bernie Simons, but they really are doing a lot of hardness in the maintain. They're not really a great day to be there, but let's not try to keep on coming with this offense. They really need to do something about it, Bernie Simons, about that time. They've got to do some, a lot of, a lot of um, pass off angles. They need to do some, a lot of help. This offense, it's going to keep on coming. After another miss by, by Bernie Simon's team of the Blazers, here's Giddy. Here's Gilgurich Alexander. Wow, what a my rocket moment. And Giddy with the assist. 18 points for Gilgurich Alexander. Looking to see if he can get back into work. Rocking against Gilgurich Alexander. He finds A.N. Back step over Holmgren. Misses the target. Another great rebound for Holmgren, and they are pushing their way up. Here's Giddy, decides to free. You bet. Giddy has his nine points in the game, and the assist comes up by Gilgurich Alexander. He has four. Oh, just a great day to be here. An alphabet, great range. You can count that in. Simons for two. Misses. Aiden with the putback. And this one, we are down now to three minutes remaining. This was a lot of great attackers that they are doing as much as they can. This is what the funders do. And Portland try to do their best to keep up coming. Dwork gets to Williams. To look for corner. Home green against the Giddy. Here's another pass and it's broken up as Brockton takes a steal. Here's Simons, and an offensive foul has been picked up by Bernie Simons. That will be a turnover by the Portland Trail Blazers, and a new changeoff coming up. Oh, the ugly offense is not doing their way, and that changes to be a causing turnover, and what a great defense. Two players are checked in for the Blazers, and one player, as Mimic, is checked in for the OKC Thunders. Free again. That was off the range. Aiden, give off to Camara. Here's Henderson on a shot, and denied by Gilgorich Alexander. Foul on again by Williams. Oh, with that player bound, I don't think that Shane could do that block, but he definitely swatted it. That might have been Lord Dorf, Dorf, Dirk, Lujan's Dorf, or it may have been Jay Gorich Alexander. What do you think? No, 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 I don't know about that. I'm thinking that Dorf may have that block. Maybe that point or Gregory Alexander. You know what? I have no questions to ask. New changeup coming in for the Funders. 
and for the Portland Trail Blazers, they will be checking in. Bernie Simons and Aiton are checked out as Bible and Reef check in. Wallace is checked in for Dort and for Will for Holmgren, he's checked out as another Williams is checked in. The second free throw is off the mark. After a foul major on that one, they are at the extension coming in, and here comes Wallace. Williams decides to think about it. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Here he comes up again. Oh boy! What a cut and bounce! Are you kidding me? There's no way that the stop puts up for Shane Gordon Alexander. That is a crazy impact. We all loved him. He finally has 20 points, looking to go over his career high. Anderson rejecting the screen. Here's a shot. The layup puts in for Anderson. 52 to 30 is the score, We're nearing 90 second mark. And now he will swing it over, and the pass has been broken up. Anderson alone, one hand jam. And that one put it to be another hit down for the Portland run. You know you can't swing it off, you know this offense can't be that improving. You don't mess them up, you can do this again. We have two dunks for Portland Trail Blazers, and now it was your best replay of the AT&T 5G, the slam cam. Williams finds again to Wallace. Wallace in the middle, finds again to get Gordon Alexander, finds Williams. Five on the shot clock, trying a bounce line, and he makes it in! Oh, that's a tricky shot! How do you know that? That is no offensive on that question's to concern. Williams just got a three-pointer. What a help. Williams, reef up, shot misses. Rebound, good. And this will be his first bucket for the bench group as they are just pushing their way back in. Not an easy offense here, no way to be stopped. Mimic back again to Gordon Alexander. Excuse me. How's your type for yourself? With a layup and not a choice option. That's good. Gordon Alexander with 22. Oh, he's like a star. Watch out. Anderson on to Gordon Alexander. Will he stop it in bounds? The backhand. Oh, he's trying to do his reverse on this layup in bounds. But this one misses. And that one another miss by Portland. I don't know if he was doing I mean, I'm thinking he might be doing a reverse one. Hero spin and a fade? I don't think so. And Kill Cortex Alexander makes the three! Raining free! What a making! You better pick off the arc. That's what happens. You don't mess it up. Third quarter's ended, fourth quarter coming up. Now it's time to check out your best play of the system of the game presented by State Farm. Now here's the thing about that. When you give up the dish off look, you give it up to Shake the Gordon Sounder, and you made that shot fucking in one. That happens to be a one play making through. And you know, I really love that Wallace gives a dish off. What a great, great pass off. You give it off to a good look. Three quarters are finished. We are down to the final quarter in the game. Hope you're having fun with us, and here's your last courtesy lineup by Gatorade. All field and ready to go. That's right now, Joe, he's over with again. Now he has it over to Wallace, and it's Williams on the other side. Out of bounds, has been kicked off. That's right now, Funders will have their possession. Then across from here, we have on Joe, and finally we have his Wiggins. Now here's Williams, he finds Wiggins. Wiggins. Tries to step up to two, and it's good. Wiggins has finally paid his first bucket in. Assisted here by Keandre Williams. Well, I don't know what his first name is, so I would keep Williams for sure. Yeah, thank you for that one, Kate, sir. Alley hoop, success. Bob G has that one first slammed down, and the assist comes in for first start of a night. Wallace will take his own time. This shot to Williams. Looks again to Wallace. Joe on the outside. Looks again to Wallace. Wallace with a two-pointer. Elbow good. Wallace with his third bucket. An assist will be up again by Joe. 
There's no way you can stop now, but Joe, you make that assist clear, you can do it again. Henderson missed the three. On the other side for Wiggins. He puts it back over again to Wallace. Now he finds Wiggins. Wiggins finds again to Williams. Williams, back again to Wiggins. Bounce past to Williams. Up with the shot. Oh, I don't know what he was going to do, but he finally has a second bucket in. Can't fool you, you're going to stop now. If you want to do this, you got to make the pressure come in. Henderson tries to look in the paint with a screen. Shot. Good. This one comes in for another scoring drop. And this one will be 25 for Gregorius Alexander over Henderson with 13 points. And now Wiggins will have his own time. He gives it to Joe. Bounce pass to Williams. Back again to Joe. Watching the three second violation. Williams. Shot clock to six. Joe and Amar going outside. Pretty good. Joe has his third bucket. Second bucket with the three. They're just raining freeze everywhere. Count that bucket. Henderson, look inside the two. Tear chop, no go. Now here's Wallace. Swings again to Williams and now finding Joe. Joe passes to Williams. Bounce pass again to Williams. Up with the shot. We got it again. They'll get it back as now Joe have it. He now gives to Williams. Down to six in the shot clock. They need to keep shooting this. Joe, with no room, off and miss the angle. But our wrist point comes in for the OKC Thunders as now here's Henderson. Henderson on Joe. Fade a shot and in paint, good. Henderson with a number two pointer. That will be number 15 in the bucket, looking to beat by the Gordon Alexander. Here's Wiggins. Gets to Wallace. Up for the three. And that's good. Wallace with his nine points in the game makes another three pointer. Not everybody's shooting freeze. There's a three point contest you can't make a miss on. Anderson finds Murray. He gets it back to Cocky. Baki and Murray, and here he comes, and it will slam it down. Assisted by Baki. Baki with the assist, and now Joe will give it over again to Williams. Fans go quiet as Waz does it over again to Williams. Another ball move to Wiggins. Shot off the six. Waz, a patrol set. And a two-pointer miss off the mark. You're going to need to keep on shooting this again. There's no way that the Wallace is really trying to like keep up with this, with this technique. He has to find more room, and he's got to like try to shut it off to give another place to go with respect and behind him. On the rebound, here's Wallace. Wallace gives it Williams. Needs to look for a new changeoff. The three for Williams. It hits off the rim and it's missed again. Not a perfect way to get this foot done. And I don't know what Wiggins will do. Maybe he might need to do some another change off if he wants to go with a dish off. That cross is broken and Wallace goes it back again to Williams. On the fast break, here we go. Two Williams good. And he just made that one good enough to have the arc coming down. We're two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. No time given here as Henderson will have it back. Screen rejects it off. With a shot, foul called on Wallace. That'll be his first personal. And under, um, under two minutes remaining, we will have another new change off. We can look for another help. This offense may not be a great way to just do this, but they have a lot of them to go with their respective on their own. Henderson at the free throw line shooting two. Missed the first. With a new group for funders and for the Blazers, as all three players are checked out. And all three players are checked in. Reef, Grant, Walker, and Simons are checked back in. Funders are also making new changes, as two players checked out. 
Joe stays here on the shooting guard as Mimic is checked in. He will hit the second free throw. Mimic decides to use his timeout within the last new changeoff for the OKC Funders. We'll take a quick break right now, and coming up will be the New Balance player of the game. Keep your eyes on a try. There's all heavy mitts on, on a shot. It all has to be everybody. Keep on coming. Let's show how they do it. And now it's time to present your New Balance player of the game. For the player of the game goes to Shea Gorgix Alexander. You know an impressive man, you know how the skills does turn out for Shea Gorgix Alexander. He definitely likes to make the fade shot, and he definitely also has the assist for coming down. He's like a big star. Even tell him that. It's what he does. That's all he can count on and make him work. Next one, last touch it as the Thunderers will still have their possession. Last touch by Grant. Here's home Grant. Nearing the 92nd mark, it's a 74 43 game. Home Grant. Gives it back pass to Williams. He decides to give off to Joe. Looks again to Williams, and a layup goes in. What a fish up for Williams as he has an art bucket after Joe. You know it's a great move, I like that Joe gives that feed off right to Williams. What a great, great connection in and a great drive. Here's Reef. Reef on Holmgren, up with the shot, missed again. Holmgren has got his 10th rebound of the night. Now he will swing it over to Joe. Joe swings back again to Williams. Up again to Wiggins. Joe, deep firing for three. That's off sailing out of here. There's not enough time, but this is nowhere to go in between. I mean, not a three-pointers want to be. And slam down, hush the crowd for Bernie Simons. As right now he has nine points with Josh Giddy. You know, that's what the hard drive does. I mean, nobody has that point, they can't get out. Joe and team will settle down with the clock, and now he will swing it again to Williams. He gives it to Holmgren, decides to think about it, and a shot, bucket one! Wow, Holmgren just gotten really good at it, and a foul called on Reef. You know, that's no way to make the luck out of it, but you know Holmgren make the drive out of him. Holmgren! Only one shot coming up here for the OKC Funders as Holmgren finally has now eight points nearing the 30 second mark. And he has ripped it in. Nine points of his game for Holmgren. Last possession for the Trailblazers. McCall and Brogdon decided to go over, and this one's knocked loose. Here he comes. Mimic will try to give it to Holmgren, and he's going to have to throw it out. And there's the bucket. Holmgren has got 11 points. And now with Williams and the team, they're going to celebrate their win, and that's all zero, partner. Well, that's all can definitely do now. I mean, with everybody's, a, with everybody's assist, Anybody could win that game. We really appreciate them. I know Funders can definitely do it all. And that will do it. OKC wins the game. 81 over 47. The longest point of the night. You know what happens? That's because someone else is good. It's Cheryl Shea, the Gorgeous Alexander. And the other one, you never get away with that. It's a great pressure to feel and wrap up with the win. And now wrap things up for the NBA Rival Week. With Son of Beast, along with my broadcasting partner are David Aldridge, Gangsta Beast, and of course the Vulture Beast. This has been a presentation of the NBA Rival Week. So long everybody. Time to send off to Terry Crews for the postgame show.
Please, thank you so much. As we have gotten a great lot of statistics on their run, check out how they did for the OKC Funders. 65 field goals, 54 percentage for the three pointers, then it was absolutely a bench point for 27, and 31 assists for the OKC Funders. The other side over here is free throws for 75% for Trailblazers, then 9 for the fast break points, 38 for the points in paint, and 8 for second chance points for the Portland Trailblazers. 8 rebounds for the Trailblazers, and 28 defensive rebounds for OKC. 4 steals, 5 blocks, gotten pretty good out there, along with 3 turnovers and 6 points off. 3 team fouls was on Portland Trailblazers. 8 dunks were before. Biggest lead was 36 for the OKC Funders, and time of possession was 16-12. That was excellent. And I'm telling you now, they are heading into the playoffs, and this is going to be a long living for the lifetime. Now let's send you over to Wood Spoonie for three star players of the game. Spoonie, all you. All right, thank you very much. Talk for three star players of the game. Let's get this thing going. And it's brought to you by Adidas. Here you can have a star range to keep our eyes on the side. We have his home grand. He has 11 points, 10 rebounds, only one assist, a steal, and three blocks for a main. Four out of six field goal percentage, and he only had to perform one dunk and 13 performance run for the player of the center. It just turned to be great that anybody can, and great defense puts the skills up again. Now let's head on to number two as we get right into this. It's Scott Scoot Henderson with 16 points, two rebounds, two assists, and only had one dunk remained. Only 20 performance along with 7 and 16 field goals, and he never made the 3 pointers absolutely. So he only just went shut down and only the 2 pointers was remained behind. So that is it for number 2, and your number 1 spot, of course we all know this, it's Shai Gilgorgic Alexander, a New Balance player in the game with a block, yep, but that was him, that he made a block out of it, only 38 performance, 11 out of 14 field goals, that puts 25 points, Two rebounds, five assists, and only incredible two three-pointers, Gavin Gibbon. Uh, he's an excellent star. you got to give a credit to him to give it all. That's it for three stars. Back to you, Terry. All right, thank you very much. As right now, this one comes to an end. I hope you all enjoyed this rival week of the matchup. Stay tuned. we got our next game coming in. It's the L.A. Showdown. Yeah, who likes the L.A. Showdowns? Do you? <laughs> well, I guess you may never know. What's the guess it right now? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. Please feel free to subscribe to this channel. We're going to have tons of more sports coming in right now on the 2K Sports and EA Sports from hockey and basketball. And as for right now, there will be tons of more right here with reaction videos and also many more to come. This is Terry, and I hope you all enjoyed with us for today. And we ask you that we would like to salute to you all for a wonderful day. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA Rival Week on 2K Sports Style. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and see you all next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.